Hello everyone, this is your friendly neighborhood accountant Eric Knowledgeless Stockhausen, and today I want to give my response to Mega Mogwai's response to Petrify and Reddit's response to the direction CD Projekt Red is taking Gwent with the winter update. More specifically, I want to talk about the criticism being leveled against Mogwai and other high profile content creators in the Gwent community that they are filtering their opinions to protect their relationship with CD Projekt Red. First and foremost, I want to say that this stuff does happen. I know of one person in particular who protects their relationship with CD Projekt Red by asking one of their PR guys whether or not they should air a story about the company before they air it. In order, and this would protect their relationship. They don't want to say, give a negative story or say something that CD Projekt Red isn't ready to be told to everyone yet. And in a way, they act as an extension of CD Projekt Red's advertisement. It is not uncommon for game developers to pay influencers, both directly and indirectly, to promote their content. Mogwai and other high-profile content creators have received money, gifts, and special attention, all of which have times when they need to be disclosed, at least in the United States, legally, but should be disclosed, period, just for ethical reasons, <laughs> when they're providing opinions or doing a special video. Now, they don't have to disclose it if it's, like, really obvious. If you're at Magna Castle at a big, you know, at a tournament, you're obviously doing an advertisement for the product, and so you don't have to disclose you're doing a paid promotion because the whole thing's a paid promotion. However, if you're doing a patch review and you receive special access to, let's say, the PTR, if you were like you and a handful of others only got access to the PTR, you have to disclose that you have that special access. Because even if you're not getting directly paid by CD Projekt Red, you are getting financial benefits because more people are coming to your channel since you're the only one able to, you know, show off this content. You're the, um, which then means you get more viewers and the more viewers you have, generally the more revenue you generate. And if you're a streamer, that's also super important because that means the more subscribers you get and subscribers are money. <laughs> so there are disclosure things that uh, Mogwai and the other high profile content creators need to pay attention to and I think since a lot of them this is might be the first you know content creation they've ever done before they might not be familiar with the ethics and their local laws about disclosing paid promotions and the relationship with companies when providing their opinion it's important on that latter bit if you're providing your opinion about a company in which you have a business relationship with, you should disclose it. Uh, a great example of this is how Rooster Teeth handles it. Rooster Teeth has many different YouTube channels and content creation outlets. They make animations, live co action comedy, game shows, movies, but they also have a Let's Play channel and a games journalism channel. The Let's Play channel will sometimes have paid promotions, which they have to disclose conspicuously in a clear way at the very beginning of the video. And later, they might do a story on their games journalism channel about th that developer, and they might not have nice things to say about that developer, and they might not be they might be expressing their unfiltered opinions about that developer, but they still have to disclose the fact that they've had past business deals with them in the form of those paid promotions. Mogwai and the other ones have definitely received some benefits. Uh, they might have been compensated for, for, pro for providing analyst analysis and casting services. They might have gotten special access to servers, been given free kegs or gift. They might have been flown over and gotten a, basically a free vacation, a working vacation and a sense as well those, those are important and they should understand that the consumers the gwent community um they have an ethical obligation to kind of tell the community yes i have a relationship with cd project red and this is what it is before giving their opinion 
Now, the second part of the criticism is that they're filtering their opinions. In the case of Mogwai, he is definitely not filtering his opinions, and I'm not expecting a caster to do that. Casters are well known for expressing what they think at the moment, <laughs> right off the cuff like that. <laughs> He's definitely criticized the patch, and you, if you want to know more about that, you can watch his content and see it. Merchant has also criticized the patch in various places. And he's also on this list of high-profile content creators who can benefit financially from getting special attention from CD Projekt Red. Maybe they're more positive than the general community, but that should be expected too. Any content creator who's putting a lot of effort into their videos, I spent more than $500 this year on making videos and buying kegs and stuff like that in order to make the best content I could. I obviously am very passionate about Gwent. I'm, it'd be very unlikely for me to bash Gwent a lot after I demonstrated so much passion. And I assume the same with Mogwai. And I'm not going to put more words in his mouth than, pop, than necessary, but I would assume that he is also very passionate about Gwent, and therefore some of the positivity that the community is seeing in him is probably more representative of his passion rather than the fact that he's receiving gifts. So, I, I thought I would like to say that and have a good day, everyone.